Monday morning. Now, so yesterday was Sunday. Um, I came down yesterday to do the snatching, week five, day two. Went home, cup of coffee, some breakfast, and was watching Andrew Hilder's YouTube channel as usual. As soon as he puts a video up, I'm subscribed to get a notification, watch the video. Started watching the video as normal. Video continued on, continued on. Next thing I started to notice, like, gee, the background in that video looks wild familiar. So, I was watching away, and the next thing I was like, wait a second, that's definitely my jump. So, watched on, watched on, and then next thing I popped into the screen. It really works, and the affiliates are getting some sort of people in from the CrossFit Games marketing system. But honestly, don't you think that if they had 15 million extra dollars? I had a measuring tape, I must have been showing the wall ball height for, I can't even remember what workout it was, maybe like 23 point something, I don't know, or maybe it wasn't even a open workout, I can't remember, but anyways. Like he's got over 30,000 subscribers, um, lots of A's on his channel, and then for him to go ahead and do that for me, Andrew, really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, so, see, it doesn't take much to do that, do you know what I mean? And I was talking about this uh, in a couple of videos back about the truth of CrossFit community, and uh, saying about like how other creators in the space won't necessarily share someone else's. But uh, like what Andrew done there yesterday, 30,000 subscribers, how many people is gonna see that there now? Like there's gonna be thousands of views. It's not costing him anything. It's not doing him any harm. He's only helping. All I'm doing is down here training in a shed, a cold, wet, damp Irish morning training and putting it out there for people to watch. So it's not costing him nothing. He's not gaining, he's not losing. He's just doing a solid for someone that size compared to him. I have 300 subscribers, he's got 30,000. You know what I mean? So if I can pick up a couple of subscribers from that, Tip the hat to you, Mr. Heller. Thank you very much. Again, I'm gonna put Heller's description or link in the description to his channel. If you have any sense, you will follow that man because the stuff he puts out is just really, 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 really good. Um, he uh, not only was a, a good YouTuber, obviously, but he is he's a fit man. He, um, I think he actually qualified. He went to regionals as an individual and a team and he was at semi-finals in 2021, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, I think. He used to own an affiliate as well, he sold half of that, and now he just makes YouTube videos full time and has a programming called Hillerfit programming which he sells out every month as well. Um, so, all around, good dude as they say, across the water. Thanks Andrew for that. I'm just making the videos every day. I love doing this here. It's like a video library, you know what I mean? Whenever I have children and stuff like that, they'll be able to look back at all these videos. I really don't care too much for the subscribers. But it's just that, as I said in that last video, if I can get a couple more subscribers, it keeps me more accountable whenever I'm training. Do you know what I mean? There's more than just me in here training on my own. When I look at the camera, I'm thinking there's a couple of thousand subscribers on the other end of it. Um, so, Heller, thanks again for that. Really, really, really appreciate it and mucho. Gracias, amigo. Right, for my train today, I just started off there doing the first set of cleans. We're doing some squat cleans today. Again, started off with a set of three at 40%. We're gonna move into another set of three at 50%. Up again for three at 65, a double at 75, a double at 80, a single at 82%, and another single at 82%. Now my heaviest on this is gonna be 101. I'll round that up to 103. We'll hit these sets of cleans. These cleans don't have to be touch and go. I just touch and go the first set of 50 because that was my warm up set. Just want to get the heart rate up. And um, now we're going to the, the 60s that I just done there, they went singles. We're going to 80 next for another three, and I'll do them singles. <laughs> Wonder if you saw it too. We got to do it All I got in the summertime. So that was three at 80 kilos. Up now into the doubles, or two singles. 90 for the next two. Sorry, up to 93, not 90. 93 for two. So bumping it up from 93 to 98. Next two now at 98. Yeah. 
Right, 98 feeling dead on there now. So two singles left. Both of the reps are going to be at 103 kilos. I'm not going to bother a belt. See how it goes. Try and use the belt as little as possible. And then whenever I do get on up to the heavier cleans later on, um, in the months ahead, that um, I'll get more of a benefit from it. So two singles at 103. <laughs> See another thing too that I like about Andrew Heller and I like a Savon and um, those guys is they're just say it as it is like there's no filter and it's true everything that they're saying is true like you know what I mean they're not they're not chatting shit. Heller, Heller has got more facts and everything he does is research. All his videos, he's got facts to back up what he's saying. Like, and um, they calling out all those athletes, both games athletes and normal athletes, like that aren't at the games level, that are like cheating in the open, cheating in the semi-finals, not doing reps. Calling them out, it's great. Like, it's great to see. Like, and. Um, Long may it last, and hopefully that uh, things tighten up a wee bit. Although the open down all seems to be going to shit and out, so I don't know what the story is on the participation going, going forward this year. But anyway, I'm going to still keep doing CrossFit. I'm sure Heller's going to keep doing CrossFit. I'm sure Savon's going to keep doing CrossFit, regardless of the state of the games and the, the competitions and all that there, other stuff. That was the cleans done. We have some bench press to do next. It's, uh, what are we doing here? We're doing five singles. So we're building on from the doubles last week. We did five by two at... I did 5x2 at 100 kilo last week. Now this week it's going up to anywhere between 90 to 100% of your one rep max for a single. Or heavier than the 5x2s last week. My one rep max is 110. I'm going to warm up now and see what I get beyond the 100. If 110 is it for a single, by God I'll have at it. Maybe I might even try and PB the day on that. And uh, if not, I'll just bring it back and notch to something heavier than 100 for the five singles. So we'll get the bench out and we will get in that piece next. I thought maybe, you know, like if the day is feeling good after I hit the five singles at 110, I could push on then and maybe PB. I was warming up and I got to 100 and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to be lucky to even get a he heavier than 100. So I've put on 105 now to see. I don't even know if I'll get this 105, but I'll try it. Watching back that 105, you know, it didn't look too bad. I wonder, could I chance the 110? The last thing you want to do is get pinned in underneath the two, isn't it? Ah, fuck it, I'll chance it, I'll chance it. Or voila. Mm. See this t shirt, too, though? See where it's loose around the neck? I got this one time in New York. Movement Republic CrossFit. I think it was New York, isn't it? I actually ended up being there while the open was on and I did the open workout that had like snatches, bar muscle ups and something else. I remember doing it, my hands all ripped up after it but the t-shirt started a day like just over years of having it, it's actually loose around the neck. I like a nice tight t-shirt around there, this is a bit baggy. Anyways, it's on now. Right, what are we going to do here? We're going to go for 110, we're going to go for 105s. 110, we'll try 110. <sighs> right, that was slow, but it was done. I'll, I'll just try and stick that now for the five sets. I was thinking maybe I might manage it, which was tight, but now I'll just, I'll just stick it. That's my one rep max there, so to hit that. Fairly happy. If I can hit that for four more, well, I'll be delighted. <laughs> right, so that's two of the five singles done at my one rep max. So that's my 100%. Three more to go. The time now is eight minutes past nine. Pat is under the groomers to get himself washed and cut and tidied up at 9.45, so have a wee bit of time to do this, but not way much. <sighs> oh my God! That was scary. <laughs> Jesus. Right, that was scary enough there. It was just sitting there and not moving for a long time. 
I have two more to go, but I don't know if I'm going to get them or not. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> this bench press session has turned into a survival match. I've got four done, I've got one more to go, and they are just, they get off the chest, they get about halfway, and they just stick for a second, and then I finish them out. Um, but as I say, it's at 100% of my wonder at max, so it's 110 kilos. I can't remember the last time I benched, or when I hit that PB. I'd say it's at least a year ago, and I haven't hit anywhere near that recently, only until the last couple of weeks when I've been doing this benching, so if I can just survive now and get this one more rep without failing, and that's me finished it and walk away fairly happy at it. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> I'd spot me Pat. Now look, I'm jammed in here. Whoa! Hey. Well, that was a shit show. Right, what I'm going to do is I have to take Pat up to the groomer, so I'm going to run up, leave Pat off, and then someone in the 10 o'clock class in might spot me on that last one, just in case I get jammed again. A few moments later. I think it's just the confidence. You're famous now, you're on the vlog. Hey, that's it done. Five singles hit. And uh, we'll do a 10 o'clock class and get back in. We've got a couple of repeats pieces to chat about them when we get there. The 10 o'clock class, I just got it finished right. We were testing 2K row on that today and we were testing one rep max squat clean and it went brilliant. Heaps of PBs and um, the row in especially. It was just the hype was real hype for that. So they've just gone now. I'm going to do the 2K row. I have to do it myself today. My PB for a 2K row is 648, and it's a long time since I've done that. As I say, this last couple of months I've been just focusing on strength, and still I'm focusing on strength. So I'm not going to push this at all. I'm just going to go through it as fast as I can, but I'm not going to be looking to PB. I don't expect to PB at all on this. But um, it's just such a rotten test, the 2K row. If you haven't ever done it before, like, it is rotten. So I'm going to do my 2K now. I'm just going to chip through it, see how it feels, and um, just get that done. And then I have a bench press and a rope climb workout to do then after that dumbbell bench press this time. So I'll get this 2K row done first. Right, that's the 2k road on. No arm rubbing on, just straight on it. 701.8. As I say, my PB on that is 648. I can't see myself ever PB in that anytime soon, nor wanting to. My legs are exploding now. Such a horrible test. Alright, at least that's that done. Um, back on the bench again now. Dumbbells and rope climbs. Show you what we're at. Right, so last workout, four time, five rounds, 25, 20, 15, 10 and five, double dumbbell bench, and five, four, three, two, one of the rope climb. So 25 bench, five rope climbs, 20 and four, all the way down through that ladder, and that's the last piece of the day. That's the training done for the day. It was, ach, it was kind of a sticky enough old session. It was messy and ah, it was just it wasn't a great old day. It was all like chest stuff really. I enjoyed the squat cleans. Other than that, there wasn't much. Found these old shoes today. <laughs> They're a wild color, aren't they? They're meant to look like the Ireland uh, tricolor, but they were like one of my first pairs of CrossFit shoes ever back, back in the Reebok days. See them there, that Reebok CrossFit. 
And then you got your initials KMC, CFI, it used to be CrossFit Ickenham in London. That was the first place that I uh, started to do CrossFit. So I seen them in the door, or in the, whoa, in the wardrobe the day, and I thought, oh, I'll just throw them on for a way. That was MG. They're actually ridiculous to colour whenever, whenever I think about it. So I, that was the training done, folks. It wasn't wild much to look at today, in fairness. It wasn't wild exciting, but sure it is what it is. And um, those bench press, I suppose I hit that um, 100%, had 110 kilos for five. Messi and all the singles. Nearly lost my life under one of them. And uh, we got through that piece, so that was it. So we'll see you tomorrow for hopefully a more exciting uh, vlog than the day. Good luck.